okay? I don't need anyone walking me home. Hey, we were talking about meeting up tonight anyway. I guess. And you can quit worrying about what he's gonna think. Not the point, Tom. He treats me like a kid sometimes. Hey, I get it. He's protective. He's seen things. We've all seen things. You know, we gotta talk about you stealing food. Hey, I cook it, so I get to say where it goes. Well, he won't thank you. Well, maybe tomorrow's finally gonna be the day he fixes his own breakfast. Could you knock on the door? Only got so many hands here. For me? Yeah, though it's not as much as last time. It's enough. Nona thinks you're an angel. The Dawn hates seeing food go to waste. And this? This has got to be Tammy. Sarah told us all about ya. That right? You're a famous race driver, Tom. Everyone talks about ya. Yeah, she's right. They do. Well, anyways, don't let the cold in, Juliet. I'll see you at church. All right. Have a great evening. Night. Buena noche, Tommy. Hey, Mama. Your angel Sarah brought more food. It's nice you do that. That? Well, a lot of hungry people on this block. Yeah. Well... It's, um, it's a good night for a walk, anyway. Don't get yourself killed on my account, Tom. I try to avoid it. That's all you got? You spend all this time with the lady killer like Sam Trapani, and the best line you got is, good night for a walk anyways? <laughs> well, it is, ain't it? Yeah, I guess so. Flowers for the lady, signore? Nah, we're good. Now I don't get flowers? When you let me take you on a real date and not some walk home for Luigi, then you get the flowers. Eh, that could happen. If Pop's not gonna stop me seeing one of you, I think he knows anyway. Luigi? Nah. These guys have been creeps to me for weeks. But I didn't tell you as I know what you like. I mentioned it to Dad this one time, and all of a sudden he gets you to be my knight in shining armor. So yeah, he knows. Huh. Well, like I say, means there's no problem with me. If you did, you wouldn't last long. I know what happened to all the other guys I dated. I helped hide the bodies. Yeah, so now we are... I've been trying to keep you safe, Tommy Angelo, all this time. Well, let's go someplace. Tomorrow night, maybe. The pictures, maybe. You can get your flowers. That'd be good. Oh! Hey there, darling! Are you stepping out on us? Piss off. <laughs> Don't cast the kitten, doll face. We'll let your boyfriend watch. What do you say? We going to have trouble here. Trouble started back when you tried to steal our girl, Chief. You saps aren't careful. You'll end up in wooden overcoats. <laughs> Last chance to walk away. We ain't frails. We know who you work for. Salieri might have been the big six when he was younger, but he's all washed up now. Mm -hmm. It's only a matter of time before Morello punches his ticket. <laughs> I don't need Salieri. Or anyone else. Not for this. <laughs> well... <laughs> then let's see what you got, cake eater. Mm. Where you going here, sweet cheeks? Uh, Back off! Uh, That's right. Here's some kind of dish, uh, 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 Get away from me! Hey, twist! Looks like you's wasted on that girl. Uh, uh, Those pins go uh, all the way. Uh, you even touched me uh, and you're dead! Uh, you're wasting your time. Uh, 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 Open them up. Uh, Let's see some uh, Get away from 
for me. Get away. <clears throat> nah. Nah, I won't. <clears throat> That's what I got, you son of a bitch. You got a good right hook, I'll give you that. You're bleeding. Come up to my place, I'll take a look. Well, you gonna come in and take a load off, or what? I'm wondering when you'd invite me up. The bank's closed, Slugger. I'm just gonna patch you up, is all. Now go sit down on the couch, roll up your sleeve. I'm getting my sewing kit. Doesn't look too bad. You need something for the pain? I know, I'm fine. You don't have to do that. What? I can see it fucking hurts, Tom. You want to pretend it don't go ask Polly to staple you up. What do you get? Compliments of the Dan. Take another. All right. You gonna grin and bear this? Yeah, I'll be okay. Good. Cause I don't need the little old lady next door complaining to the super about all the racket. Just be quick about it, will ya? Oh, it's gonna take as long as it takes. The sloppier the stitch, the uglier the scar. That right. You stitched up a lot of fellas. Just my father. Ma would really go after Luigi sometimes. He got pretty good at ducking dinner plates. So one day she stabbed him with her knitting needle. Right through the hand. What for? Cuz. She was an ugly, jealous drunk. There. Not my best work, but it'll hold. The scar will be something to remember you by, if nothing else. <laughs> You're staying over. Can't have you stumbling through the neighborhood pie-eyed. Not when them hoods are out looking for you anyways. Yeah, okay. You got an extra blanket or something? No. And the heat's out. something. This can't stand. Sarah's okay, boss. I took care of it. She started working here before she could see over the bar. I don't have a daughter of my own, Tom. I'd do anything for Luigi's little girl. So would I. We all would. That's right, boss. Anything for Luigi and Sarah. Do those bastards think this is fucking Luna Park or something? I'll rip them apart with my own hands. 
Our business is protection. But who's gonna pay up when they learn we can't even protect one of our own as she walks home from work? So what do you want us to do? Teach these boys a lesson. Break every bone in their bodies. Put them in wheelchairs. Bust their faces up so bad, even their mothers can't look at them without screaming. We know where they're holed up. My friend on the force says we should start looking into Chinatown. Then Big Biff will know something. Tommy, go to Vinny, get us some gear. Meet me at Biff's place. Yeah, okay. Leave these punks laying in the street. I want everyone to know we do not allow mad dogs to run wild in our neighborhood. You got it, boss. Some of these sons of bitches could still be on our turf. I'll check the neighborhood. Make sure they're gone while you see Biff. Good hunt. Yeah, same. Okay, so when you're done with Vinny, come find me in Chinatown. Sure. Let's go bust some heads. These punks showing disrespect. Where's the respect in this city gone, Frank? Hey, hey, here for some heaters, Tom. Nah, I'm already going and healed. Paulie and me, we gotta give a beating to some punks who've been on our turf. I don't wanna pull this and piss in our own street. There's something to bust heads, that's all we need. Sam turned over some guy's warehouse and, uh... Autographed by Babe Ruth himself, the guy said. I mean, it's horse shit, but... They bust heads. Your punks won't have time for questions. Not they won't. Thanks, Vinny. figures and the reaction from the governor's mansion. The numbers state in black and white that crime is on the rise all over the state. Many commentators are blaming the rise in criminality, thievery, racketeering, and other gangsterism on the economic downturn and resulting social deprivation. In the greater Lost Heaven area last year, there was a sharp increase in the number of gang-related incidents, and the chief of police was moved to create a gang task force known informally as the Rat Catchers. But Governor Wells, who has suffered criticism for his handling of the increase in violent crime, thinks otherwise. He said, there can be no dispute that times are hard for many. Jobs are fewer and farther between. But that simply is no reason to bite one's thumb at the rule of law. In fact, I feel that adversity has the potential of forging a hardier individual and a more harmonious family unit. Governor Wells came in for some criticism from certain sections, while others were quick to praise him for his commitment to straight talking. How either interpretation plays... About time. Come on, I'm wet through. Why Biff moved into this dump, I'll never know. Give him a break. He's in love. Ah, uh, he got yellow fever that time we boosted the Shanghai skin flicks. Well, I like her anyways. Problem with you, Tom, you always soft with the games. Biff, you fat bastard. How you doing? Dogface, great to see you. Call her off, Biff. We got business. Upstairs, please. So, what's the beef? We need some information. Got some jokers causing trouble. They mess with Luigi's daughter. 
Plenty of hoods around. You got any more? One of them's a weasel named Billy. Pals with a prissy chump and a bruiser with a bald head. Right, right, I know them. They're set up in the old service station a block over. They hock some gear every now and then, in small time. <laughs> That's why I need to come to you, Biff. You're good with small time. Out the back, cross the street. You'll find them there. Thanks. See you around. Hey, Paulie. Uh, about that dough? Relax. Just waiting for my guy to come through. It'll be next week. Just sit tight. What was that back there? You and Biff got something going on. Guy I know is bringing in a shipment of suits. Classy ones. Mexican. You getting suits from Mexico? No, idiot. The suits are boosted from a lockup downtown. The tailor is from Mexico. Originally, anyways, he lives in Holbrook. I don't know about this. Yeah, yeah, I'll get his cut. You just keep this under your hat. I guess I heard nothing. You gonna know these punks when you see them? Yeah. No, I guess if I don't, all we gotta do is find the other guys in Chinatown who look like we do. There it is. Here's how we do this. I walk in and start beating people. We do the same. No shooters. You take long thinking that one up. Ah, the plane gets used a lot. I think we gotta go in through the side. the nicest ass I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> oh, yo. Oh, Billy, it's the guy from the other night. We gotta go. Go get him! Get out of here! Get, him. get out, you dumb! Break him! Son of a...
Johnny, get down! Oh, come on, come on. Get out of here! Shit, we gotta get to a car, Tom! Scram! just wrecked himself. Well, they're not walking away from that. Go on a pop and pop. No. No, no, wait. Please. Please, I don't want to fucking die, man. Christ, Tom. You can't feel sorry for these animals. A guy like this would plug you if you give him the chance. You gotta pull the trigger without thinking. This I'm out. This one's finished too. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> Oh, Christ, Tom. Snap out of it. You remember what those guys wanted to do to Sarah? Yeah. Just, uh... Hey. Let's get out of here before the bulls show up, huh? <laughs> <laughs> 